Hey guys, Justin here with the Satellite Phone Store and today we're going to talk about the Iridium 9555. Alright guys, we're going to open the Iridium 9555. So right away you can see your phone. It's going to be wrapped in a nice package and not as beat up as this one. This is one of our rentals. It also comes with a library or a plethora of quick start guides in pretty much every single language. So hopefully your language is here and you'll be able to use that. It's actually quite helpful. There's a lot of uh, quick tips on getting your phone started, but we're going to cover all that in this video. Inside the box itself, the first thing you'll see, this is the plug to plug it into the wall. The next box over right here, this is all the adapters for the different countries. So I'm sure you'll find yours in here. This looks like European right here. We also have a car adapter, so if you want to plug in your phone into the car, you'll be able to do so with this. Some earbuds to be able to make calls with your earbud. Inside here, we have a little external antenna. This is actually really cool. Maybe we'll get an opportunity to show you guys how this works. The 9555 and the Extreme both come with an external antenna, and the beauty of this is it allows you to make phone calls from inside, which you can't do with an unobstructed view, obviously. But with this external antenna, we're able to magnetically place it somewhere outside, like on the top of your vehicle. Then we take the, there's a small plug on the 9555, we pull that out, and we place this little back with the port for the external antenna. Then we'll take this and plug these two in together. And now, once this is all done, you can go inside your vehicle and make phone calls with the antenna on top of the vehicle. It comes with a nice handy little carrying case and a USB charger. And then your, this is what your battery will come in, in a little box like this. Right now it's currently installed on the phone. To install the battery on the 9555, you're going to put this end in first and then secure it that way. The SIM card is right here. The SIM card is very simple to remove. You just slide it out. Don't yank this up because you'll break it. Uh, to slide it back in, you'll see actually there's a symbol right here. Just going to slide it in the same way that the symbol is with a little cutout at the top and the metal surface at the bottom. As you can see on the side here, here are the two charging ports. You can either use your car charger or your international charger to plug into this port. And if you'd like to use the mini USB, you can plug that in here. The advantage to this is that you can use a regular charging port on your computer, one of your other cell phone charging blocks, or anywhere that you can plug in a USB. Let's go over the button layout on the Radium 9555. On the side here we have the convenience key. On this side you have the volume keys. And on the top you have the power button. On the front we have the select key, which is on the left hand side. And you have the back key on the right hand side. And right here this is for scrolling up and down through your menus. We also have the send key and the end key, which uh, the send key is green, the end key is red. And below it we have the numeral pads. On the other side, you'll see there's a small port. This is for the headset. One thing I want to quickly go over is how to use the antenna on the 9555. You'll see it extends out and it goes side to side like this. Well, the reason that it goes side to side like this is because when it's on your right ear, you want it to be facing directly up to outer space where those satellites are. Same thing goes if you put it on your left ear, you're going to want to switch it to the other side so that it is facing directly up towards all the satellites in the air that it is using to communicate. To make a phone call on your Iridium, you're going to dial 001, and then the phone number. In this case, we're going to call the satellite phone store. You're going to hit the green button, which is the call button. I'm going to put this on speaker, which is under your options. Hey, is this a satellite store? Yes, it is. Okay, this is uh, Justin, your video team. I'm calling you from Zion National Park and just testing out the phone. Okay, perfect. I'll figure that. And it's working great, so thank you guys. Yeah, my pleasure. I hope you have a great day, sir. You too. Take care. And that's it.
Easy peasy. There are a couple different ways to ensure that you receive calls. The first thing is, is that you're going to want to make sure that the antenna is outdoors and pointing up to the sky. This can be achieved by having it inside your little case that's included with your phone and clipped to your belt with a clear view of the sky. As soon as you get a phone call or you hear it ringing, you're going to want to take it off, extend the antenna, hit the green button and answer the phone. Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. The menu is as follows. My phone book, SIM phone book, messages, voicemail, data modem, call history, setup, security, and help. All right, so we're gonna go and set up voicemail on the Radio 9555. We're gonna go and press and hold the number one key. It's gonna go and call your voicemail. We're gonna go and put it on speaker mode. We're gonna go and interrupt this reading by pressing the key. Password is going to be the last seven digits of your satellite phone number. In this case, mine is going to be 2441062. Now we have access to our voicemail, which we can listen to our voice messages, change the readings, or change your pin. To send text messages, hit the menu button, scroll down to messages, select create message. Using the T9 method, type your message. Once done, select options and hit add new recipient. You can enter the number starting with one and then the area code, or you can use a contact from your contact booked. After you have entered the number or selected the contact, hit send. To receive a text message, you're going to also want to have the phone pointing towards the sky, it should be receiving text as long as it has connection. In order to read your text messages, you'll just go to yes, and it will pop up on your screen. Thank you for watching this video. Please make sure you like and subscribe as we'll be adding more content, tutorials, as well as some of the other products that we carry. If you're looking to make an off-the-grid purchase, please visit sat619.com.